What's up everybody? It's me, Fergie. It's me. Welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim. Today I'm gonna to be vlogging, yes. Live on the wild side. I'm pretty sure no one's ever done this before. <sighs> so excited for this, let's go. Insert cool transition here. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Let's try this again. What, how did that happen? Oh my God. Guess where I'm at y'all. Can y'all see it? Oh my God, I'm at Starbucks. Fun fact, this is the only Starbucks on the earth. Yep, I'm pretty sure you've never heard of Starbucks because like, I don't think they have any more than just this one behind me. Okay, jigs up, I'm actually here for one thing and one thing only, okay? So we're not gonna get it twisted. I wanna see if they have the zombie frappuccino. If they don't have it, if they can't make it for some reason, I literally might cry. Not because I'm sad, but because I'm embarrassed. I don't wanna go in here and ask for a frappuccino that looks like a freaking zombie, and then they not have it. Let's see how this goes. Lying in a coma, dang. Dreaming about Do y'all have the zombie frappuccino? What's that? Like a medium. Lying in a coma, Yeah. Hey. Well, also I said medium, like, Rookie. Would that be all? Um, yeah, that'll be it. All right. Lit, okay, they have my money. <laughs> Let me know if any of you have tried this strap. Um, and did you think it was good? If this is gross, y'all, I'm never coming back to Starbucks ever again. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Down in the snows for in cut. Somewhere in the woods I dropped. I get blocked, I should run my crap. Tell me I should pull up. I better turn into a zombie after this. Do I feel changed as a human being? Slightly, but that's just because of the residual effects of spending money on a frappuccino at Starbucks. Is it good? It's not like amazing. Like she I, you know what I mean? Let's get I don't really mess with your you purchase this thinking that it's gonna be great, it's gonna be amazing, you're gonna turn into a zombie afterwards, and then it sort of like doesn't happen, and then uh, you have to walk around with it as a token of your shame. It's very cute though, it's very aesthetic. It's serving me like tutti frutti. <laughs> Making my way downtown, walking fast, face is passing, I'm homebound. Okay, so now I'm at the bus stop. <sighs> the bus stop a lot of people like to say that the bus stop is gross but I say it's actually pretty fun you know I like to play games such as how many pieces of freshly chewed gum can I get stuck on my sneaker or one of my faves is that spit or is that a rat or a crowd favorite like how much secondhand smoke does it actually take for me to vomit in public <laughs> in the trash right where you belong the bus is here yay <laughs> Let's try not to get hit by a car, okay? Those are very expensive cars. Maybe we do need to get hit, okay? Collect the coin. But this is always a funny experience for me because I feel like everybody just be looking dead. Everybody's tired, right? They've been working for the man. Every night and day, okay, big wheels keep on turning. Come on, Tina. You could totally replicate like the mannequin challenge on the bus without people actually knowing it's a mannequin challenge. Guess where I am? Girl, we at Walmart. Moses, call me. Don't go to Walmart without a list, okay? Because you will end up buying a bunch of unnecessary things. Unless you have like, you know, that golden thing called restraint. But like, we don't know her. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, this is, <laughs> what kind of cart? This is a relatively new Walmart. Like they just built this John and the carts are already like, ratchet. Okay, I can barely see anything with these glasses on right now, so. Actually, I see some haters. Let's block them out. Let's block them out. I feel like a little kid right now. Maybe it's because I had that zombie frappuccino. Um, we got the deals. Trying to get the fall fit. I'm walking way too quickly for this. Let me pull out my list. Fiber. Yeah, okay, so I'm only picking up a few things. Salad, oatmeal, lunch, you know, lunch, lunch and breakfast things. You know what I mean? And then we also have, let me see, mangoes. I wrote down mangoes because can't live without them, you know what I mean? Wings in the sky. Oh, and also some M&Ms. Because fun fact, when I'm editing my videos, I 
am chewing on some M&Ms. Like, I have to have M&Ms to edit. It's true. Everything he's saying is true. And I like to blame my weight gain on a slow metabolism. Ah, <laughs> oh, the M&Ms right here. Talk about serendipity. It's getting close to holiday time, guys. People are being nice. Homegirl said, excuse me. In Walmart? Where? Oh, should I get the family size or the party size? I'm not that gross. I, I feel like the party size is gross. Although, I can eat a party size, girl. I'm trying to show restraint, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll get one or two of these. <laughs> I have to get salad. Now, where's the salad, y'all? You got I don't know where the salad is. Salad, the salad, the salad. Why am I so confused in here? Maybe it's because I have my scammer's glasses on and I feel like I'm just ready to scam and I'm not focused. Let's take this off. <sighs> I can see clearly now that the rain is. I still can't find the salad though. How are my lips doing? I feel like my lips are always chapped nonstop. Okay, so I live for some roaming lettuce. We have this local grocery store that always has roaming lettuce for two for five and it's a pretty like sizable pack. I almost poked myself in the eye. Putting my scam glasses on because I'm trying to read a scam you know what I mean so we have 268 and we have um, that's it oh, we just have 268 so we're just gonna buy the one for 268 here we go Boom. getting healthy and fit with will I was Girl, I'm having a time right now. I'm not really one to buy like instant oatmeal. Like I'm not trying to have my breakfast ready in one minute. Um, I just feel like that's not natural. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Whatever is cheap is cheap. Great value is a great value. <laughs> I don't even know how to shop. Somebody help. Her name is Autumn. Pumpkin pie rice krispies. Pumpkin pie Cheerios. Pumpkin pie pumpkin pie. Like what? I'm a, I'm a You know we gotta come into the natural hair section. I do come in here and I do struggle, okay? Resisting the temptation to just buy every Shea Moisture product just because I love Shea Moisture so much. Let me spot the scam, let me spot the scam. I like to come over here and clown products that I think are just like way too expensive for no reason. Curls is actually too expensive. And maybe it just doesn't work for me, but I tried the creme brulee with curl cream and it smells delicious. Like, don't get me wrong. And so does the, uh, the edge control. But girl, $10, $10 for like this little, th there's not a lot in here. It doesn't do anything for my hair, girl. If you really wanna serve a read, it doesn't do anything for my hair. So I don't think that's worth it. Obviously, like I love Shea Moisture, but some of them are a little expensive. Actually, no. Honestly, I feel like they've come down with their prices maybe. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm not tripping. The masks are like around 10 bucks, 10, 11 bucks, which I don't think is bad. Um. Yeah, all the prices center around like $10, which is, I think pretty good. I know mixed chicks be playing games, y'all. Mixed chicks be like $20. $20 for like nothing. Like, it's not a miracle in a bottle. It's literally just, all these products are essentially the same thing. There's just different fragrances, different amounts of certain products or ingredients in those things. Um, have y'all seen this? This is the braiding gel by um, Shea Moisture. It has a kind of a bizarre smell, but I think it's pretty like moisturizing. Also, there's this like crazy no rinse foam cleanser, oh which you're supposed to like put on your braids and like. You know, it's it's you on Facebook. Facebook. No. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's oh, YouTube, y'all. What's good? Hello. Hello. Y'all can follow me. Follow me at Will on a Whim. Oh, Will on a Whim? Will on a Whim. Okay. And y'all will see yourselves. So you get good hair advice, because that's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a natural hair YouTuber. I mean. <laughs> Let's talk about Cantu. Cantu, y'all, mm, more like can can't to. <laughs> I think this leave-in conditioner is something that I used to love. It's cheap, and it smells delicious but it just doesn't do anything good for my hair. So there is something that I think is like on the rise in the, in the sort of hair care space, hair fragrances. People like <laughs> spraying fragrance on their hair nowadays, which I guess is like a nice touch, but I feel like it's just bougie. If you are out here buying fragrance from your hair, for your hair, you're probably bougie, but I don't mind it. Like some of these misting sprays that have a fragrance in them are also good for your hair. So if I'm ever to buy one of those things, I'm gonna look for something that actually is nourishing. There is this one from the from the Protective Styles line at Shea Moisture. It's a neutralizing mist, and this is for obviously like braids and protective styles. You know, after a while, they start getting a little funky. Fun. You know what I mean? So you need to 
go ahead and deodorize. <laughs> As I am, I think it's good, but this these prices, $15 for some cream, for some twisting cream, no. It's looking like nah. Me too. Oh, also shout out to homegirl that I met in like the frozen section. <laughs> I didn't get to get your name. I you were shopping with your family and you had some really bomb like like toned blonde hair. I just couldn't tell if you like were one of those, you know, oh, is that homeboy from like back in the day or is it like, oh, that's a will on a whim, you know what I mean? But it was nice meeting you either way. Shook. I'm shook. Halloween time, y'all. Do any of y'all watch Project Runway? They always be up in mood in New York City which is a fabric store and they be just killing it y'all i've been obsessed with this current season oh my god i live for that show i wish i could like make a dress out of like pieces of whatever Okay, so your boy is back home. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm I'm tired. Girl, I'm about to do a triple action onto that bed and I'm about to go to bed so hard. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to stick around and see more videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll see all of you back here for another episode of Will on a Whim real soon. But until then, bye.